How you guys look for here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and in this video guys I'm reviewing the 87 rated in form, second in form Illicic of Atalanta. This is actually an insane card and once again just like the Mendy review that I did uh, do earlier on today, I can't believe how cheap this card is. He only cost me 26 and a half thousand coins which is insane and in the four games that I played him with he scored me five goals and got one assist. He's also got a four star weak foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along to Zingham Sats his main standout stats are going to be his 92 shot power, his 93 long shots as well as his 92 ball control and uh, finally his 92 dribbling and I did also have the Hawk chemistry style applied to this Illicic card. There's also going to be hopefully guys a, a guaranteed base icon live pack opening like opening the one pack reaction today as well on the channel maybe like in the afternoon or something like that. Like uh, maybe a few hours after this Illicic review is up I'll hopefully try and get that out today if I am going to go ahead and do it. But Illicic, um, I can't remember if I reviewed his first inform, I want to say that I did review him and I gave him a relatively positive review and obviously... Uh, again, going up with his second inform is pretty good, and he's just as cheap as the 86 inform, which is absolutely crazy. Could even maybe be a good investment card potentially um, if you want to go and pick him up to try and maybe make some coins. But um, in terms of how he was to use in game, I thought he was absolutely fantastic. And with the whole chemistry style, some of his stats just become world class stats. They really, really do for me. Um, you know, with that whole cam style, his, his positioning goes up to 96, his finishing goes up to 89, his shot power goes to 99, which is fantastic. And because of like, and because of that, I mean, his first pro for me will be his finishing. You know, five goals in four games is a great return. As I mentioned, that finishing goes up really high. The shot power maxing out at 99, which is fantastic. His um, his finesse shots from outside the box are really, really effective as well. Just fantastic. Fantastic all round finishing stats for him and five goals in four games. You can't complain about that whatsoever. He did also score on his left foot as well. I think he's, he, and obviously, he's got four star uh, weak foot, which is fantastic. So he can score on both his left and right foot, which is also um, really, really nice to obviously have on him. But um, yeah, finishing quality couldn't fall to whatsoever. His second pro as well will also be his dribbling. He feels so smooth on the ball, he really does, which is it, it's a bit weird because you know he's only got 74 agility and 63 balance, which isn't um, you know that doesn't look great on the face of it you know typically when I ever use a player that's got low agility and low uh, balance which Illicit does have usually they do tend to feel pretty clunky but that wasn't the case of him because obviously uh, he's got 92 ball control he's got 92 dribbling which meant that actually despite his agility and balance being low because his, all of his other dribbling stats were so high it actually made him feel really really smooth on the ball it allowed us you know he was able to use the dribbling to be able to take on players and stuff like that as well it was actually a really really effective part um, to the cards in my opinion so I was shocked when I looked at his in-game stats after I had used him to find out that his agility and balance were so low because it didn't feel like that at all in-game and it was probably because of how good his dribbling and ball control were so and obviously five star sorry four star skill was as well it's also really, really nice to have on him. And then his final pro as well will also be his passing. He only got me one assist in the four games, which isn't a bad return from a striker, but um, he was unlucky not to get me more than one assist in the four games, in my opinion. He provided lots of good passing to uh, to other attackers in my team. He's got 90 vision, 89 short passing as well, which is very nice. Um, he can very much work as a cam. I think he'd be equally good in either position. If you want to use him as a striker, he'll work well there. If you want to use him as a cam, he'll work well there as well. For me, that he's very versatile and that he can play in those two positions. I don't think he's necessarily better better in one or the other position. I think he's just equally good in both positions. I didn't think his stamina was an issue either at 74. I thought that was fine because he's a central-based card, so stamina wasn't an issue at all for me. And on the whole, it's a really, really good card once again for such a good price. I think from a Syria card, I think he's definitely worth picking up if you've got a Syria team. Um, I just thought he played very, very well. Six goal contributions in four games. It was a great return. I liked him. And yeah, it's definitely a card that I would 100% recommend buying if you're thinking of buying him. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.